this Rimac Nevera, this Tesla Model 3, and this Volvo SUV are necessary to ensure the safety of their passengers. Here's a glimpse into the brutal world of car crash testing. Cars are getting safer every year, and a well-established testing program is a reason why. A lot of thought and preparation goes into making sure cars are as safe as possible on the roads. Sometimes that means a car has to be pushed to its limits to understand its strengths and weaknesses during an accident. In this extreme crash drop test, Volvo dropped its cars from a crane at a height of 98 feet to assess damage caused by the most severe high-speed car accidents. This is the dummy that is most commonly used during crash testing. It mimics the physiology of the human body and collects data. Sensors in the dummy measure the risks of injuries to the head, neck, chest, and abdomen during frontal and side impact crash tests. A frontal crash test simulates a head-on collision as a car crashes into a solid concrete barrier at 35 miles per hour. In a side impact test, a 3,015-pound sled runs into the side of the car. It simulates a car that is crossing an intersection, being sideswiped by a car running a red light. Based on the results of these crash tests, a rating is assigned from 0 to 5. While many modern cars such as the Hyundai G90 and Tesla Model 3 received a 5-star safety rating, failing a crash test is also not impossible. The Maruti Suzuki Espresso, which is sold in countries with relaxed safety standards, scored a rating of zero in tests by the Global New Car Assessment Program, NCAP, and failed to protect passengers in a head-on collision. The Espresso provides only the driver with an airbag. In contrast, the Tesla Model 3 features full-size airbags for both front seats, along with overhead airbags and side airbags for the rear seats. Espresso also lacked front seatbelt pretensioners, which tighten the seatbelts to place the occupant in the optimal seating position during a collision. And most importantly, it lacked an effective crumple zone or the section that's designed to absorb and redistribute the force of a collision. The effects were made clear by the injuries on the driver and passenger dummies. Crash testing is one of the most important components in the design of cars. It has made newer cars safer than ever before. Statistics suggest a driver is 10 times more likely to suffer from fatal injuries in a 30-year-old model compared to the latest vehicles. So what's changed in the making of cars? Newer vehicles not only provide safety during collisions with improved seat belts, airbags, and crumple zones, but they also prevent collisions in the first place. Modern cars such as the Acura TLX also offer advanced safety features such as a collision mitigation braking system, adaptive cruise control, and a lane-keeping assist system. Cars are becoming more sophisticated and expensive. Even so, they must still undergo extensive crash tests to meet all the safety standards. So how do you test really, really expensive cars without losing a lot of money? You redesign the crash tests to minimize waste. Take this Rimac Nevera, an all-electric hypercar that hits 0 to 60 in just 1.85 seconds. Before 150 units can be manufactured and then sold for $2 million each, it has to be crash tested like any other car. Expensive electronic components were replaced with dummy parts of the same weight and composition, and sections of the car were built and crashed in order to work out a safe and reliable design. Despite all this, it's still painful to see this gorgeous hypercar being crashed and smashed in the name of safety.